Good day, happy travelers. Vacation travel hacks here, trying to book some of the hardest to get uh, dining reservations. And just going to walk through a live demo here to see what's going on. Uh, so the first thing we wanted to, maybe you're new to making Disney reservations. Maybe you want tips on how to get the, the hard ones. But first, got to define what the what the hard ones are. And uh, they are uh, Cinderella's Royal Table, pretty difficult to get. Space 220, difficult to get. Uh, sometimes Yak and Yeti can be hard to get. Sci-Fi Diner uh, is hard to get. So what, what we're going to do here is kind of see what we can do to get the hardest ones to get. All right. So I'm on Disney's website. You can do this on your phone too. Uh, what I've discovered, just, just a tip from me to you, I go during New Year's Eve, I go during Thanksgiving when it's very busy. Pro tip, do use both if you can. Uh, sometimes the phone acts fickle and the computer works good, and that's more often than not. Sometimes the computer uh, acts fickle. Earlier is better. I'm doing this at 9.22 a.m., but I'm also picking reservations during summer when it's not uh, as busy, even though Disney makes it enticing with their promotions, you know, hey, everyone go to Disney. It's cheap. It's hot. So not not a lot of people are there. Uh, so uh, I'm on the computer just to give you a feel of the land. And uh, just in case you want to see that pathing again to make them make the reservations here. It's under things to do. Make reservations. And now we can start. Let me scroll down here. Uh, now we can start to make our reservations. I'm going well. I'm here off-site. Got a really cool deal. Two-bedroom jetted bathtub down by Disney Springs uh, for, what was it, $379 for uh, Saturday through Thursday. Check out. Now that I'm at the Polynesian. <clears throat> but what I want to do is I want to go out a little further. Let's pretend, let's just pretend that you have a stay starting, I don't know, on the 14th through the 19th. Pro tip is... Start with the last day first and understand you're competing against Disney travel agents. Uh, and I, I don't know if they, I'm not a travel agent. I don't know if they have better tools uh, than the, us pedestrians. <laughs> but I will tell you, uh, it, it's it's difficult to get the, well, that's why they're hard to get reservations. That's, that's why it is. Select your appropriate party. I'm a party of three. And look for unusual times. And I'm going to search for windows and the first thing I'm going to try to get is Cinderella's Royal Table. Just kick it off strong. And note, you will have to pay for it up front. So here we go. We're searching breakfast Wednesday, July 19th. And I will filter. Let's see what we got here. Let's sort by. So let's just scroll down and see what's available first. Then, then, then we can work on. Hey, ta-da. <laughs> Cinderella's Royal Table. You can have breakfast. Just a gentle reminder, you uh, will have to pay uh, in advance for this one, and it's over 60 bucks. Uh, so cool. I, I, I can get that right off the bat. Uh, there's Fantasmic stuff available for breakfast, and this is cool to get your seats. And uh, good breakfast. That, that's a real solid breakfast, one of the, one of the better breakfasts. So it looks like a lot of, oh, Kona, Kona is available. That's, that's a, uh, they, oh, and Ohana. Hey, now, now we're talking that these two breakfasts at Polynesian, I, I feel are very solid. They're, they're really good. Uh, Topolinos. Hey, listen, this is a great breakfast too. This is really solid. All right. So we got a lot of breakfast options, uh, 60 days out. And, uh, so cool. So let's see what's available for, oh, let's try lunch. Now let's, uh, so we know Cinderella's Royal Table is available for breakfast. What if you're like, ah, I don't really want to go to the park that early. Uh, I want to sleep in. Let's see what's available for lunch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You talk about a unicorn. Beaches and cream. Team, there's a thing here called the kitchen sink. Uh, and it's <laughs> 75,000 calories of all things fantastic. Uh, it might be a little more than that. Uh, but uh, that's uh, Beaches and Cream is located uh, in the Yacht Club, Beach Club uh, complex. If I actually probably the Beach Club right outside the pool. Uh, that's uh, they also have good food, though. I, I had a, a French dip there. A fantastic, fantastic. I'm telling you, get there. That's uh, something to look at. Chef's Arts, if you haven't been there. Oh, hey, the ta -da. you don't want breakfast. Now you can have lunch at Cinderella's Royal Table. So it looks like a lot of a. Uh, 
a lot of options. Crystal Palace, more phantasmic dining options. It uh, looks like you might have more. Oh, holy smokes. Hey, team. Look at that Sci-Fi Diner. I'm telling you, compared to the other ones, which are moderately available, Sci-Fi Diner, again, that is a tougher one to get there. Uh, in, in my other videos, we kind of explain what the ambiance is, but you're essentially sitting in a car looking at a movie theater, and that's that's cool. It's a cool experience. Burgers is kind of their thing. Uh, shakes, they also make good shakes. Let's go down and see if we can see Space 220. No Kona's there. Oh, Space, almost down there. Almost. Oh, Rodeo's Barbecue uh, Roundup. That's new. So that's, uh, I, I, would I call that hard to get? I don't know. Too early for me to tell. Uh, no, it doesn't look like Space 220 is here. And that's, uh, that's, that's, that's okay. Via Napoli is there. Hey. <clears throat> in Animal Kingdom, one of the harder to get reservations is Yak and Yeti. Uh, good food. They got those nachos, the the tuna, ahi tuna nachos, uh, like on wonton chips. Fantastic nachos. Great food. Uh, great environment. This is a tough reservation to get. All right. So we're, we're finding some. There, there's some options here. All right. Let's uh, let's try dinner. Let's see what we have here. Update the search. All right. So scrolling down, beer guests, a few options available, beaches and cream, looking pretty good. California Grill, uh, on top of the Contemporary Resort, this 810 reservation, you might be able to watch fire. As a matter of fact, uh, likely, highly likely perhaps to watch fireworks from the top. So that's a, a, a unicorn in and of itself. Chef Mickey's. So even dinner, look at this. And you can tell it's kind of rare because all the like di prime dinner times is gone, 4.15 to 7.05. All right, so here we are at 9.30 in the morning, and there, there's a lot of options available. Uh, Fantasmic. Let's see if sci-fi is available for dinner. No, not available. See, uh, we don't call these hard to get because they're easy to get. They're, they're hard to get. hoop de doo review. Very cool. Doesn't look like it's super hard to get, although it looks like maybe some of the prime dining options. Uh, you, it, this is another one of those pre... This is dinner and entertainment. Let me say the dinner is fantastic. Uh, uh, what was it? It's uh, fried chicken and uh, some other uh, uh, barbecue medley. Uh, it was fantastic. And if I remember correctly, it also included free uh, adult beverages as well. Uh, uh, beer, I believe. Uh, so that, that was a, a value in our house. Kona, they had a pretty good dinner. Good, good sushi. Uh, let's scroll on down. Whoa, Monsieur Paul. I, I, I had no idea that was open. So that's uh, I must have missed a, an email. That's that's a, hey, Ohana team. This is a fantastic dinner, as you can tell. Hard to get because between three forty and eight forty, nothing is available. Uh, highly recommend that. That is a very cool dinner. The noodles is great. The, the uh, seriously the, the the entirety of everything in that is fantastic it is a great experience R rodeo roundup okay cool sci-fi all right there's one 7:55 p.m no space 220 all right storybook dining though this is another one of the hard ones to get uh 610 720 uh, I call it hard but it's also not like super convenient to get to. Uh, it's at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, which is behind the Contemporary Resort. Uh, if the boats are running, you should be able to get there via the boat. Uh, otherwise, the easiest way to get there would be to go to like any park, like Hollywood Studios, go to any of the parks, and then take the uh, the, the transportation to the Wilderness Lodge. Follow the signs. Q yeah, so it doesn't look like Space 220 is available and even Yak and Yeti's uh, gone. Oh, although for a good steak, Yachtsman uh, Steakhouse is, is a good one as well. Was uh, La Cellular available? I don't, yep, yep, a great steak. Uh, again, not a whole lot of options. It's not a really big place in Canada land. Very, very solid place. All right, so now we're, let's back, go back a day and I'm gonna go to Tuesday and this uh, search 
see if we can't find space 220 here. That's that that's our mission. No, nothing nothing's available there. <clears throat> All right. Get rid of that screen. And as you what you're going to see as we go back in time, there's going to be fewer options. Uh, typically there there's fewer options available because more and more people would have booked it. Uh, but there is uh, California Grill available. Just a reminder, that is a prefix menu, I believe, uh, meaning you, you choose from an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert. We scroll down, Crystal Palace, Horseshoe. Kona still still there. Don't know if we're going to see uh, Ohana on this list either. We're almost there. No, Ohana, Ohana is there. Prime dinner, no, but you get to do the experience. Uh, kids get to do like a, I don't know, a Congo line, but it's a little bit more Polynesian oriented. I wouldn't know how to describe it. Otherwise, is Space 220 going to, no, no, it, it sure isn't. Uh, let's check lunch. Oh, and uh, you know what? I'll do this other trick after I search for lunch. All right, here we go. We're just going to look for Cinderella's Royal Table pops up. Kona. R. Now, for those of you that are familiar with the old Fast Pass days, uh, there was a thing called Pound the App. Uh, that kind of exists with this uh, application, I suppose. Search by times and search by different parties. So what I'm doing right now is I'm searching for a time and sometimes it will pull up what you're looking for, but it wouldn't have been categorized as lunch. So now I'm just saying, hey, what's available at two or uh, noon rather? And now it's giving me things close, I think plus or minus two hours on either side of, of noon. So we are going down to QR. S spice road table, but no, no. So we're gonna let's go and pick a different day. You know what? Let's uh, we were going in on a Friday. Let's just yeah, let's just check a Thursday. Thursday at noon. Is it available? And then we're gonna search for when when I'm there. And this is this is when you say, hey, it's hard to get. How do I get it? Uh, this is kind of how I kick off my day. And the closer you get. Uh, just, you know, I just literally check haphazardly throughout the day. If you're using the facilities, you're sitting there, maybe you're checking the social medias. <clears throat> uh, I search, well, I, I, I look for reservations. And all right, so no, nothing there. Space 220 is what we're looking for. Uh, let's see. How about, let's go a little later in the day. How about 6.30? So now... Searching two hours either side is 6.30. Okay. Scrolling down. Oh, hey, look at that. You can get a, uh, a dessert party. There you go. Now, speaking of hard to get. You know, actually, right now, I was looking for that back in June. It doesn't appear to be Super high demand. Actually, the sit-down version was. No, not, not available. All right. Now, the if you're booking like last-minute trips, I'll show you what it kind of looks like. So I'm checking in on Thursday at the Polynesian. Let's see what's available for, uh, for, for 6.30. So let's look for all hard-to-get reservations. 50 prime time. Actually, I have a fantastic dinner uh, at prime time on that Tuesday. Be our guest. You can still get a good table. Be our guest. That's good to know. Uh, again, you know, it's May 20th right now. I'm, I'm about a month away, uh, maybe a little under. Uh, you can still have a quality meal. Chefs de France, even Citra Coast. I mean, that's uh, that, that's a fantastic, fantastic meal. So there's lots of options. Crystal Palace, quality uh, character dining. Maybe one of my favorites. Maybe. Garden Grill is pretty good for a dinner. I mean, you, look at this. You, you have a lot of choices here. Speaking of character meals, Hollywood and Vines available. You have some options. 
Jungle Canteen Skipper. I just saw somebody's uh, YouTube blog about that. Uh, uh, I en I enjoyed the food. It was it was good. Sushi, as you can see. Hey, hey maybe this guy doesn't have reservations. No, I, I have reservations on the sixteenth. Uh, that that's where I will be. Uh, I enjoy Kona Cafe. I could get a dessert party, I suppose. I'm not gonna, but I could. Going on down here. Uh, Cinderella's Royal Table. You didn't see it up there. Uh, no. Other things that will you will notice that are gone is uh, things like Via Napoli becomes hard to get. It's gone. Uh, that's a great pizza place in Epcot. Uh, other things that appear to be gone. Yak and Yeti uh, is no longer here. Is the Tusker House here? No, nope. Tusker House is gone. So, all right, cool. Let's go take a look, though. Let's just use that same search methodology, and let's go to search lunch. All right, we'll go down here. Hit lunch, because we're just driving up the road from Disney Springs to uh, the Magic Kingdom Resort area. Can I get a good lunch? Be our guest. I mean, that's pretty darn good lunch. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Notice Chef Mickey's is gone. Uh, you don't have... Chef Mickey's on the board right now, but Crystal Palace is available, and that's uh, that's that's quality. Diamond Horseshoe. So there's there's fewer options. Oh, I could get a good steak though. Several good lunch steaks. Don't know if I want to have a an, an eighty dollar lunch, but if I did, hey, yeah, I, I know where to go. Plaza Man. The Plaza, Plaza's good. Tony's on Town Square used to be, they used to have such a good pizza. No, no, no Space 220. Uh, I could get hibachi though. I like hibachi. Tusker House is available. There we go. And, and the meter long pizza. I could uh, uh, go and get some pizza. And that, that, that is fantastic. All right. So let's go and take a look. Uh, breakfast, breakfast. Let's see. Can we get Cinderella's Royal table Friday, June 16th, about a month out. We're thinking last minute trip here. We got whispering Boma. The hate that's I'm telling you, Boma is stinky good. No, no, no Cinderella's Royal table. Not a lot of breakfast options actually. Now, now that we look at it, there's some, uh, but, uh, not, not very good. And as you get into the weekend, it becomes exceedingly difficult uh, to to get that underway here. Anything I want to to get for lunch? Tiffins? Yeah, no, that's that's not for me. Beer guest. If you've ever eaten, uh, Chefs de France actually has a very quality quality uh, food. It's it's real nice, kind of uh, easy to get to. I, I, I do recommend. I do recommend that. Get my sushi. This has is Chinese, as far as Chinese food goes, the Nine Dragons. Uh, in terms of quality, uh, universal understanding of like Chinese food, uh, Panda Express should be everyone's baseline minimum of uh, like quality. This is uh, better than that. Uh, and we have a lot of local Chinese. I'm in Georgia, not necessarily the, the hotbed of Chinese food, uh, but the, that. That place in uh, Epcot's pretty good. No, no. Via Napoli's. I, I'm telling you, I might, I might snag a Via Napoli restaurant if only to show you what it's like. All right, let's take a look. I don't have, I don't think I have any dinner reservations uh, on the books for Friday, and that's our last day before we uh, we check out. So maybe I'll make a, a dinner reservation here. Fifties prime time. Beer guest. I don't know. California Grill, uh, just take the monorail from the Polynesian over there. Chef Mickey's, oh, that's <laughs> a little late. A little late for that that big of a meal. Diamond Horseshoe, though. Maybe, maybe the Diamond Horseshoe. Maybe, maybe I'll make that. Let's take a look. Grand Floridian Cafe. Oh, actually, I know where I'm eating dinner on Friday. <laughs> Forgot. Is that Kona? If it didn't tell me, I wouldn't know. 
Maybe I'll make a, a dinner reservation on Thursday. Narcoozies. Hey, that's seafood. That, now that. I'm surprised that's available uh, for being a month out. That is, uh, that I had that back when they had dining plans, like back before COVID. Fan, uh, that, that was probably one of my favorite meals that, that I've had. So no, no, the Steakhouse 71. Tony's, lots of, I'm telling you, a month out, a lot of options. Tusker House, even via Napoli. Uh, I mean, that's, that's solid. You know what? Let's let's take a look here. Let's go back to Wednesday. Looking at dinner, I'm checking my app now. What park do I have reservations at for Wednesday? Future plans. I have oh ooh. I, oh no no I'm going to Yak and Yeti on Wednesday. Okay, maybe I'll make a dinner reservation on Thursday the 15th. But still, let's take a look, see if we can't get Space Tuesday. Hey, team, what we're doing right now is we're kind of showing you, you're getting the trend. You're, hey, places you'd like to eat, take a hey, beer garden, the entertainment, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of like Oktoberfest. You get Wiener Schnitzel and uh, uh, Kraut. Uh, and there's other food too, uh, mac and cheese, potatoes. It's, it's actually a good meal. But the entertainment, they got like a band from Germany coming out. It, it's team, team. It's fantastic. And Chef Arts uh, had it. Unfortunately, somebody wasn't super hydrated. So we didn't get to like really enjoy it. But that's an enjoyable meal and difficult to get. As you can tell, we're a month out. There was only a 10 p.m. dinner. Hollywood Brown Derby, that's that's uh, a, a good one to get. Let's, hey, these crepes, there's a table service. Be be careful. <laughs> I got like a cottage cheese crepe on accident. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what happened. Wow, lots of narcoosies. All right, here we go. Uh -uh. No, still not available. All right, let's take a look. Thursday, what park was I at? All right, Thursday I'm at Epcot. Let's make a dining a dinner reservation for Epcot. And maybe, I'm, I'm telling you, maybe Space 220 will show back up. I don't want to eat at Acre. Uh, hey, if uh, this is kind of like Cinderella's Royal Table, uh, if you're looking for, you have somebody in your your party that really enjoys uh, meeting all of the characters, you're trying to close it up, uh, or somebody just is really interested in meeting uh, the princesses. I believe there's four of them, and they also do like a conga line thing where they go and do like a blessing. <laughs> uh, just it's a cool interaction, uh, a very very cool experience. Uh, California Grill. I, I don't know. I, I just don't think I want that. Crystal Palace. All right, here, here we go. We're, we're scrolling down here. Just seeing if uh, Space 220 pop back up. It did not. Be in Napoli, though. Do I want a late dinner? You know what? I do. I'm going to book it. And then somebody can talk me out of it. I know two of the three people in my party like, like, like via Napoli. All right. Perfect. So in short, we just made a reservation. Uh, some of the, it might be uh, redacted because there's a, uh, you know, my personal phone number. And, uh, you know, some personal information that uh, may not be wise for me to put on the, the YouTubes. But nevertheless, this is this is what we got. I want to do just one last search for, let's see if there's any unicorns that show up for Monday. Uh, Space 220, let's take a look. Here we go. I mean, it's, hey, even for Monday, look at this. I mean, there is some good, 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 even beaches and cream, my heavens. Like, this is like super last minute. And this is why you check. 
Yeah, you, you check to see if anything pops up. People cancel or sometimes maybe Disney didn't release everything uh, at one time. Uh, great dinner on the water. Uh, La Hacienda de San Hill. Great. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner there at Liberty Tree. A again, fantastic. Can go to Uga's Canteen. Here we go. The Plaza QR. Rodeo. Look at that. Rodeo Roundup. Last. You talk about last minute. Even sci-fi is available. No, no Space 220, though. I mean, there's uh, a lot of really good options last minute. And this is, you know, Monday. Let's take a look at uh, lunch. This is uh, <clears throat> when you're looking for the harder to get reservations. You know, sometimes you may have to be a little bit flexible in your time. No Cinderella's Royal Table. So that, that there's no like unicorns in that regard. down a little bit more Chinese restaurant has a lot of a lot of menu options a lot of menu options and a lot of times available nope no space 220 we will do oh I don't know well via Napoli though I mean I, I'm telling you that's a solid lunch well what we did show is you can get yak and yeti uh, that that's hard to get and we showed how to uh, update the times there and just just do searches just go through your different days that you're there and if you can be flexible uh being you you'll be rewarded with uh your your flexibility oh even some phantasmic uh, last second phantasmic dinner reservation oh you can even eat in the pyramid look at that some uh some lunch available there at the pyramid There's just nothing available there in that regard. Uh, you know, there is if, if you're if you're committed to it. If you are like, hey, listen, this is this is what I want. Uh, if I go up here, there's another way to search. If you're just looking for that one thing, and just the one thing only, you can go search the Disney World website for that one restaurant. Space two twenty restaurant here we go and there is a lounge so if you don't have a a kid uh or i don't know maybe they would see the kid at the, the bar i i really don't know you can check availability just for that like just for that one thing so you can search times and then you just go out and just do like a run through your your day and i'm getting up close to the holiday week so this isn't like a super Super productive. Here we go. Let's let's get to June thirteenth here. Anything available for lunch? So just you can quickly, quickly run through the availability for this restaurant. Let's all right. So nothing available then, and we can work it back. Nope. No, nothing. Try right, first day of summer. Nobody ever wants to do anything on the first day of summer. No, but this team, this it doesn't. If you're looking for one thing, this is this is the the way, probably the easiest way to get it. I got to be careful because uh, between Memorial Day. And the 4th of July, volume is going to be picking up. And we'll, let's, let's go to the, the week after the 4th. Nothing. It is a hard one. I've done it. Uh, been able, when you have the, the 
easiest luck is if you have a reservation. So let's say uh, you check in on the 19th and you're staying for a week. If you check in on the 19th, you're going to have the availability to check that entire week while anybody who's not staying at a resort won't have that ability to uh, to, to check. So that's... <laughs> That's that's if if you want to be like completely honest, check lunch and dinner during the week that you're there when no one else can make those reservations and you will be uh, you could be rewarded. All right. So that's going to conclude our search for Space 220. We, we weren't able to find I think we were able to find uh, everything else. If there's a, a one you're having a hard time getting, uh, you know, put it in the comments. We'll try to make a video of uh trying to find it and we'll, we'll see you in the next video, but Hey, hope this little uh, walkthrough helps you, you know, search for the hard to get reservations, gets you familiar with uh, Disney's booking me mechanism and uh, saves you time and gets you what, uh, gets you what you want. All right, team. I'll see you in the next video.